cleaning at your closets or working on your lawn, why not give your beauty routine a little pick-me-up? Makeup artist Eric Gerson shares tips from everything from accenting your eyes to your cheekbones. Hello everybody, this is your friend Eric here at my makeup studio. I know that everybody is going a little crazy because nobody can get out of their house unfortunately, but I'm here to entertain you and to give you some awesome tips for makeup. This is the perfect time now that you have a little extra time in your hands. So once we're free to walk around like a normal person, then we can look fabulous, right? But before we start, we're gonna do a little bit of skincare, okay? So I found this amazing, amazing facial oil and this is going to give me the hydration I need right now. I'm just gonna pat this oil right on my face, smells amazing. And then I also found these eye patches. These are charcoal patches. So we're gonna leave this here just for a few minutes. So for this step, I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab two colors, just two colors. That's all we need. I'm gonna use an eyeshadow palette, something with neutrals. I'm gonna grab a light and a dark shadow. So my lightest color is this. Always shake the brush for ex any excess product. Follow the shape of your eye socket. Grab a little bit more of this color and apply it right underneath your eyes. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is not to put a lot of product. That's why I always shake my brush. If you put too much product, then it can become a little bit of a mess. The next step is to grab a little bit of the darker color. Grab a little bit of the darker color and just apply in the outer corner as well. Blending and connecting a little bit with the darker color on the top. I think it's time to remove the patches now. And I apply mascara in the bottom as well. The next step is contouring the face. Use a synthetic bristle brush. Literally just touch my contouring pencil. I'm gonna grab the product with the brush and start from the top of my ear towards the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna dab this product along my hairline and down my jawline. Next, I use a concealer. This one is a couple shades lighter than the skin tone. So as you can see, I created these dots that I will blend with my brush. Now, if you really wanna glam it up, there are some highlights out there that are very sparkly. Highlighting and contouring makes a huge difference. There's definitely products for everybody, so don't discourage yourself. There's a lot of different products for different types of skin, different type of ages, different type of skin colors. So if you have questions regarding products, just hit me up. Make sure to sign up to my makeup classes. The virtual classes are available at ericmakeup.com so I can teach you the ways to be fabulous. I got you, girl. Thank you, my West Michigan. I will see you pretty soon.